Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to go over how to edit your audio for a podcast instead of Adobe Audition. So let's get started. So once you get Premiere open, go ahead and drag in whatever audio file you want to use for the podcast. I'm using one that I exported out of a Premiere service file. So it's the proper length and all that that we needed. It's all had its ends trimmed. Once that finishes rendering, you're gonna to go to Window, open up Match Loudness. I already have it open, so I'm just gonna drag it down here. And then you're gonna to wanna to set your target loudness. I usually use minus 15. It's a good, nice level area. Depending on what you're using, they might have other recommendations. So then you just click Run. You'll go ahead, it'll have a little status here. You can also see it up here in the main file window. So that'll just go ahead and run through and do what it needs to do real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and wait for that. Okay, once that's finished, you'll see that it has a little done symbol here. So we can go ahead and we can double click into the audio file. You'll see all the peaks have been nice and leveled out. And from here, you can do any other post processing that you wanna do. But what we're gonna use now is if you've got a window and then you're gonna want metadata. And then I already have it up, so I'm not gonna click it. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the ID3 tag option. And then here you can add in your title artist, all, all the information that you would want. So I usually do on this first part, I'll do whatever the title of the service is. So we'll just call it service. And then the artist, I usually do the church name. And then the album I leave blank. And then album art is a uh, 3000 by 3000 pixeled image that I made. I use that because that's what Apple recommended. And then, so we'll just find that. I use a JPEG. Um, there's no, there's really no need to use a PNG as there's not gonna be any transparencies on here because of how the file is. And then once you're done, all you have to do is just file save. Then it will basically overwrite over your file that you had before once this is finished going. And it'll save all these new settings back over it and then you'll be good to go. So as you can see, when I preview it, you now have the little album art here. I'll tell you your time. So after that, you can go ahead and quit out of Audition and you can go to whatever platform you need to upload it to and you will be good to go. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe button followed by the little bell icon. Leave us a comment, a like, and we will see you next time.